hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm back in my classroom and we are actually in our first week of school i guess like our contracted days so all of the teachers are here and i've got to i've gotten to meet like so many of them uh more of them know me than i know of them because we did like this um like icebreaker thing which I know like so many teachers like despise icebreakers and that's me too but this one was actually so fun it was like competitions between two teachers and this is a bigger school so it was for the new teachers and we would like compete against each other to guess the song and the artists for different um, songs that they played and it was so fun and if you won then you got a prize off the table um, I don't listen to any of the oldies type of music like I know a lot of the music but it's not something I like religiously listen to and I don't know their names or the names of the songs or anything like that so I knew the songs I've heard them before but I didn't know most of them um, but it was so cool because like there's over a hundred teachers here and it's like I'm I'm just in shock by how many people work here and it's so cool um, my previous school had 17 this one has over a hundred so it was so cool because we were all in the library and like they would play a song and then so many of the older teachers would know what it is and like Leonard Skinner and all this stuff and I'm like I, I don't know so it was cool because a lot of the teachers would all of a sudden just break out in unison and like a hundred people started singing and I was like this is so cool like I I love it anyways um we got to ask for someone to like help us so I, I called on a teacher to help me and she got it right which means i got it right which means we got a prize so i got these um silly scents sweet smelling crayola markers which i never had these ones before i had the mr mr scent what is it i don't even know what it is mr sketch um but i haven't tried the crayola one so i'm super excited for those ones but that was so exciting so I'm here I'm putting together my classroom there's so much that I have to do in terms of decor decorating um, but I was able to put in a request to the custodians to get more plexiglass for my shield plexiglass shields for my desks um, and I put in a request to either fix the drawers on this desk or to have a new one put in so it's kind of nice that we have this now we now have this form so we can just fill it out and ask for help if we need it from the custodians um, but I was also told that they're going to be putting out furniture in the hallways so that we can go in and see what we want and if we want it we just like put our name on a post-it and then put it on there so we can like claim it and then they'll take it to our rooms so I might be able to just find some other things that I need but I have a lot of stuff to do in terms of putting my classroom together my hair is such a mess you guys um, so I've already started working on it a little bit and I'm just gonna be picking up where I left off um, from last time um, but yeah so let's go ahead and let's get back into putting the classroom together and making it beautiful gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here, hanging on, waiting for your call Seems like time As a wave passing by Leave a mark in our mind River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. But I've always known you would go if 
find your own way I still see When we climbed up in those trees Twelve years old Feel the wind Watch the river run And the sun would always shine When we sat there, you and I The river's gonna cry when you're gone, gone so far don't mind this red mark on my nose i got these new masks they're the n95 ones and they really hurt my nose like my makeup um really digs into my nose but let me show you what i got done so far so i have been spray painting these i know it's not paint but it turns shiny things matte so these are the shiny ones you can see how they reflect in the light but then once you spray them they don't reflect so Perfect. Um, this is what it is. It's the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. It's clear matte. Make sure you get the matte one and make sure it says clear. And then that will turn the shininess into matte. Um, so basically these are just laminated letters. And then you just spray it on that. Spray it with that. Um, I use this paper as a background. These ones are still drying. I need to do double coats on those. but. Yeah, that's what I've used. And then all these letters are gonna go up here. So it says, always be a little kinder than necessary. It's probably gonna be too long, but I'm gonna do two rows. Um, but yeah, so that is what I did with that. I moved all my stuff on my desk out of the way because I put in a work order so that I can have them either fix these drawers. Well, all of them basically, these don't close and they're really hard to open. These ones don't have that little track. So I put in a work order for custodians to either fix it or if they have another one, replace it with, with one that works. So I just cleared everything off of the desk and out of the way in case they did end up um, needing to replace it. Hopefully we have another one. I found this in the hallway, you guys. So I took it it's a nice little lectern here. Um, it's very wobbly, but I think I can fix that. And then they taped some stuff here so I can actually scrape that off or go over it with contact paper in the polka dots. And then this is just my like desk calendar. It's in the plastic, I haven't opened it yet. But it's so cute, it's got these little butterflies. I got this at TJ Maxx, so if you're interested. I don't know how much it was, $8. So yeah, 
super cute there. But yeah, so I have all my stuff kind of out off to the side. More things I need to put together. Um, I have a lot of the decorations still over here because I need to put them somewhere. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these here. I might move those. And then I brought in my personal printer because I don't know if we get printers at this school, but I brought my personal printer. I got my little lamp set up here. I just need to find the bulb in one of the other boxes. And then yeah, everything's just kind of shoved off to the side just to get it out of the way. And then yeah, this is what it looks like. And then I got all the things up at the top over there, which I'm really liking the colors. Um, I put that here, I didn't know where else to put it. But yeah, this is what it is. So it's nice and like clean on the floors. <laughs> it looks so, like the room looks so much bigger. But I am gonna have to change the desk setup again because in our meeting today, we were told that we are still going by COVID social distancing, but they said, three feet between student heads. It doesn't have to be three feet between desks because we, we are gonna have 40 kids. Um, there's no way we can have three feet between all the desks. So I'm still gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do there. Um, and I also put in a request to get more plexiglass for the other desks. So all the students will have plexiglass, like will have plexiglass on their desks, um, which should help with that too. But I am gonna have to figure out a whole new desk set up <laughs> like you know you can't do groups because you're not three feet apart but you can't really have them single because there's not enough room I don't know we're gonna have to see what happens I'm gonna be walking into other teachers classrooms and see what they're doing because I know I'm gonna get in trouble if I keep the desks like this so they can't be in these like rows where they're touching each other it has to be some sort of space so I need to figure that out and figure out what I'm going to be doing with that um, I'm still deciding whether or not I want to keep this cabinet because I don't think I really need it anymore. I was gonna hide my microwave in there, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. But anyways, um, I got all this stuff off the floor and I'll show you what it looks like in these cabinets. So I put things organized in their little buckets. So they're nice and organized in here. And, oh, that one's still locked. I haven't even opened that one yet. And then these ones have the shelves. So, it's nice and organized inside. You guys, this took so long because I was organizing all the things in their own bins. And then I had to go through like all the different types of pens. And then these are the things I still need to organize. I don't know where I'm gonna put my microwave. I might just put it next to my fridge, but I don't know. Um, this is like a little caddy for all of my pens and pencils and stuff and it turns it's like a carousel and then this is all just kind of junk stuff too that I need to organize I broke the leg off my little treasure box so I need wood glue to glue that back on but yeah that's what it looks like still need to organize all this but I'll be back tomorrow so like I said it is the first um, day of teacher training, I guess. So teachers report back today. We have this whole week for PDs and training and all this stuff. So I'm gonna be here all week and then students are gonna come next Monday and I'm actually really, really excited. I'm kinda nervous, but I'm really excited and I just, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy being here, honestly, I'm just so happy. Uh, but anyways, yeah. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.